rain expected to hit. Well, we could see pop up showers at any time this afternoon, but the real serious storms are expected about 10 or 11 tonight. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's take a look at the current situation here on the radar satellite composite. You can see one angry cell that's just approaching Meigs County coming up from Lawrence County in the south. It does look like that's holding together and it's just about to enter our service area. As you can see, there was a close call up by Caldwell as well as a second uh, uh, cell went past. Really can't see them here on the sky. Cams. The uh, Highmark West Virginia Sky Cam says we're at 83. Feels like 84. The relative humidity is 51%. The winds out of the south southwest at 7 and the barometer 30.04 inches and falling. Looking at our current temperatures, we have 85 in Athens, 84 in Charleston. We're at 83, 82 for Columbus, 73 in Cincinnati, where they've had tremendous downpours. Winds generally from the southwest, maybe 6 to 7 miles per hour, and we're right on the same temperature as we were yesterday at this same time. Elsewhere, it's a bit warmer. Again, we're watching that one cell, and it seems to make a line with a couple other lighter showers that are around the region, but it's the cluster of storms that go all the way down the Ohio River Valley and into Kentucky. We're watching that as it approaches uh, our area this evening. Generally, we've been protected by a high pressure area, but it's helping to funnel some of those uh, warm, humid uh, cells up into our region. As we watch future cast, it looks like it'll be pop up showers this afternoon, and then about 10 or 11, boom, we've got heavier cells, heavier storms. It'll be right along the southern border of Ohio and into the mid Ohio Valley. Now, those will dissipate overnight, and we'll be left with some morning fog that we'll have to burn off. But then Tuesday, we see even warmer temperatures with some. Uh, pop up showers as well. Now right now we're at 83. Uh, those that like to run or jog, it may be a little bit humid, a little bit warm, but they'll run in any conditions as long as they can stay hydrated. It'll be again muggy as we wrap up today. It will be very humid as we hit a couple of points later on in this week. The smoke from the Canadian wildfires, well, it's relatively thin, but it is still here. When we look for tonight's forecast, scattered storms possible, 64 for the overnight low. Now, tomorrow we're up to about 85 with some of those lingering morning showers or storms. And then as we look at tomorrow, again, we'll be at a 51% chance here. Downright hot for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, even into Saturday with some storms returning.